MSQ Pro remote control. Start working, you just upgrade your firmware. The thing no longer works, I give you the fix right now. Hey, how are you doing, everyone? Once again, my name is Dario from Media Box CNT, where we make technology simple and easy. If this is the first time on the channel, you see the little M right there. You're going to press it, and then you're going to become part of Media Box CNT. All right. So, you have one of these remote control. You have an MSQ Pro. You just went and updated your firmware. Your box was no longer work. So, you just went and got some of my videos. I showed you how to uh, grab the box or fix your MSQ Pro. It's working fine now, but your remote control starts working. So, now. Before that, in case your box was working fine, you never did any upgrade and your remote control stopped working, well, something else is a problem. They did maybe the batteries. Make sure you point this straight to the box because it's infrared. And also it can be these are pretty cheap remote controls sometimes tend to get damaged, no longer work, or sometimes problem with the boxes. All right, so for that, I would recommend to use a wireless uh, remote control. There are many remote controls. They will take care of that problem for you. Right below the video, I'm going to give all the links for different uh, remote controls. It will work perfect for your box. Now, if you did want to upgrade your box and remote control no longer works, that's something different. There are four files we need to replace. Actually, we need to replace one, but this will be try and error because there are many boxes, many remote. So it seems if we replace this file, it will work. So I'll give you a four chance. You're going to be replacing these files. You're going to try one. If the box don't work, you're going to try the second one, and you're going to be resetting. So it's going to take a little time. It will be simple and easy to use. We need only two programs. We need to get Super Sue. I'm going to give you the link. I'll show you how to install that. And then we need the ES File Manager Explorer to copy and move the files. Then, once again, you're going to need a regular uh, keyboard. From, just grab it from your PC. Even if it's a wireless or cable one, just grab a keyboard and just a regular mouse from any computer, plug it into the box, reset your box, and it should automatically detect that. And then from there, it will be easy for you to fix it that way. You're going to be using a regular mouse. It will be nice and easy. So I'm going to give you the fix right now. And one more thing. In case your box is you're watching this video and your MSQ Pro is no longer working, it's totally dead, I will right below the video, I will also give you a link how to update your firmware. You're only going to use those of steps only if your box is no longer working. If, you, if your box is working fine, please do not even try it. It's working. We're not trying to fix something that is already working. Okay? So, all right. Right over here, we're going to click and we search for the Sue. This is this one right over here. You're going to click it, and you're going to install this. All right, it's already installed for me, so you're going to click Install. That's done. The next one, we'll go back into the search, and we're going to search for the ES. It should show up right away. ES File Explorer Manager. You're going to click right there, and you're going to install it. It's already installed for me. All right, once installed, it's going to be open. The ES file. It's going to show you this screen. It's going to show three screens. You're going to have to swap into the left until you get to the last screen. It's like advertisement. So you just swap with your mouse or your left button, and you're going to be swapping to the left until all those screens disappear, and then you start it for the first time. Now, to move freely here, we're going to hold the left button of the mouse. You keep holding, and then you can move up and down. So we're going to go. Now, we're going to activate the root explorer, click once, and hide files. So we're going to go internal storage, back once, right over here, etc. And let's look for a file, remote config, remote config, we're going to hold the button, left button for a second, it has a check mark, we're going to delete it, we press OK. And right over here, we're going to click Grant Assets. Yes, we click on it. And now delete the file. That's why you need the Super Sue. Let's get deleted. So the next step, we're going to quick this up. Open the browser. So right there, MSQ Pro, we hit Enter. 
and we see the remote directory all right and we see the different configuration these are the ones we need to try one two three four you need to do this one at a time because now you're going to be uh overriding the file so let's go one now at this point you're going to hold the button for a little bit maybe for two seconds and then you get this link and you're going to save the link you're going to see there it's downloading right now it's a small file it's done so we go back to main screen we need to execute again the file manager file manager internal storage we need to go to the download directory download directory remote we're going to hold it for a little bit check more we're going to cut in this thing so cat yeah it's done we're going to go back once etc let's keep moving up right over here you're going to hit paste we wait and we have the new file now what you're going to do at this point you're going to reset the box and try it now if the first file didn't work you're going to repeat the same thing you're going to be deleting this you're going to be deleting this file you go back you go back to the browser we are in the same like before but we're going to have to go back once and we're going to use now the second one again we hold it save the link and we we'll repeat the whole process we go once right over here yes explorer internal storage download you're going to hold it you're going to cut it you move back once and you go and go over here etc and let's see if we can rename this we're going to click paste and yes you want to overwrite you overwrite the file and that's it and then you keep going and you're trying to hope one of those four files will fix the problem all right so what do you think you finally got your box working again with the remote control and everything so right below the video leave me a comment let me know what happened let me know if the whole thing is fixed